Hi, my name is Andrew Mo. I'm chair of the theology department at St. Michael Academy in Petoskey. And I want to thank you for trying out this virtual shadow day. In this short video, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our theology department. First, I'd like to explain what theology is, then I'll explain why it's part of our curriculum and how we teach it and what that looks like over the course of four years at St. Michael Academy. First of all, theology is a fancy word that means the study of God. Now, philosophy has produced a certain branch of theology called natural theology, by which we can know certain attributes of God, and we can know that God exists. But Catholic theology, or what we might call sacred theology, is not based on, uh, on a thought experiment. It's not based on the unaided intellect. Rather, it's based on revelation. Um, and so the quality of sacred theology that makes it different from natural theology is that it doesn't seek only to know whether there is a God, but it actually seeks to know who that God is. Luckily, we have God's own revelation to us in the form of sacred uh, scripture and sacred tradition to aid in this study. So why is this part of a classical curriculum? Why shouldn't this just be sidelined for our, uh, our personal study in our homes or, or in our churches? Well, um, it absolutely should be studied in our homes, in our churches, of course, but it is such an important field of study that it even merits being part of, uh, of the curriculum of our high school. Why? Because no other body of knowledge is necessary for man's salvation. You can be the greatest writer in the world, the greatest scientist in the world, um, but at the end of the day, those are only going to have a temporary impact on your existence, on your being. Whereas, knowing the truths of sacred theology, who God is, what he desires of us, and how we are to respond to him, that will have an eternal impact on our being, in addition to shaping uh, the persons that we are right here and right now. Well, how do we teach it? How do we teach theology? Well, theology uh, has uh, its, uh, its data, its raw material, is what we call uh, the Word of God, which comes to us in sacred scripture, which is the Bible, and sacred tradition, which is the deposit of faith, the teachings of the Catholic Church handed down over uh, the last 2,000 plus years. Um, so in order to teach that, uh, I would say that we have uh, two primary methods of instruction. The first is lecture, or what I might be more comfortable with calling proclamation, and I'll explain that in a minute. And the second method is uh, Socratic, the Socratic method. So first, lecture or proclamation. Um, God has revealed himself to us. Uh, and what we know of God, he's revealed to us through his son, Jesus Christ. Now, we can't, with our unaided intellect, reason to truths like the incarnation, that the second person of the Holy Trinity became man. We can't even reason to the Holy Trinity. Um, so what we're looking at here is uh, is a body of truths which we can't we can't know simply by building upon other truths that we know right I can't say the sky is blue the grass is green therefore God is Trinity it doesn't work that way we can only know these things about God because He's revealed them and for that reason a certain amount of lecture or again proclamation which is what I prefer is going to be necessary. Uh, we have to hear these truths proposed to us uh, in order to have a what we might call a shared pool of understanding. Now, once we've had that, um, we can engage in what we call a Socratic method or a Socratic dialogue. Now, what did Socrates, the famous philosopher, do? Well, he very seldom answered a question. He was more in the business of asking questions. So what I as the instructor or any of the instructors at St. Michael Academy do when we conduct a Socratic uh, dialogue is we might pose a question to the students 
and the students would be allowed to discuss that question among themselves and with the help of the instructor arrive at the truth. So um, that's the second way that we are going to uh, be delivering instruction in the theology department. Now, obviously, we're somewhat uh, hampered from doing that in the same way we would do in a live classroom, but online there are certain ways that we can work around that as well with sharing responses, with doing uh, live meetups on, on uh, certain online platforms, and things like that. So uh, Socratic dialogue is still a, a way that we can proceed. So um, what resources do we use? Well, as St. Jerome has told us, ignorance of Scripture is ignorance of Christ. So in the first two years of, uh, of instruction at St. Michael Academy, so freshmen and sophomores, you'll be studying sacred scripture, becoming comfortable, becoming fluent in the word of God. And as a help to that, um, we also have uh, this textbook, Understanding the Scriptures. Uh, this is a, a wonderful resource on the entire Bible from beginning to end. Um, so that's the first two years uh, at St. Michael Academy. Now, uh, in the New Testament, Jesus promises to send another advocate from the Father, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, who will lead us into all truth. And Jesus himself says of the apostles, I will be with you until the end of the age. So, uh, we expect that God is preserving from error the teachings of his church, and so we will end up using uh, this primary text, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, in years uh, three and four. Uh, and so those courses are called Advanced Catechism One and Two. And that's a deep dive into the teachings and life of the Catholic Church. Now, it's important to know that although um, religion is often considered a soft subject, there are no churchy answers uh, given. There are no churchy uh, or soft uh, inquiries made. Intellectual rigor is an absolute must. The truth that is at stake is far too important not to use our entire brain on, uh, on this, this topic. So in addition to these things, we'll also be using uh, many uh, primary resources, right? So the fathers of the church, those who uh, were Christians and disciples of the apostles, uh, and uh, disciples of the disciples of the apostles during the first uh, six to eight centuries of the church, the writings of the saints, and other authoritative writings of the Catholic Church. Well, that was a bit of a whirlwind, uh, but I'm glad that you stuck around for the whole video. Thank you so much for uh, choosing to do a virtual shadow day with us today. I really hope you enjoy the lectures and that we'll see you uh, in a virtual or real-life classroom at St. Michael Academy. God bless you.